Welcome to another Webflow tutorial. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're gonna be covering today is how to connect Google Analytics 4 with your Webflow website. So as you can see here, we're in Google Analytics. Now I've created a test property. Now if uh, you, let's say you already have Google Analytics Universal set up, all you'd need to do is create a new property um, underneath the account that you already have. Um, but let's say you're connecting it up for the first time all you'd need to do is create a new account Which is very easy you click that follow the steps it takes about 10 seconds And then once you're in there you will have a new property now if you're creating a new one Just create a new property for Google Analytics 4, but I'm going to assume that you've already have already have one created So all we're going to do is go into data streams and you would have got to this page. We're going to go to web and Then for this we're going to put in a test. So let's say test dot webflow.io and then we'll call this test property nice and easy create stream wait for it to load once it's loaded you're going to see this page and you're going to see view instructions so we're going to click view instructions and we're going to go install manually and you're going to get this code here so we'll copy that for now now you're going to jump back to your workspace and select your website that you want to connect it to you're going to click the little three dots there go to settings now in the past you would have gone to integrations and you would have pasted the code into here but because that's for Google uh, Universal Analytics, that no longer works. So that's for the old version of Google Analytics, and that's where you're going to get stuck, so that will no longer work. And there's currently not an option to use Google Analytics 4 within Webflow. So what you want to do is you want to go to Custom Code, come down to where it says Head Code. There will be most likely some extra details in there. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Then you want to paste your code in there. And then you're going to see it like that. So you're going to make sure it's in the header code. And then you're going to go save changes. Now, if this website's already published, you're going to have to republish the website so it all saves. And that's it. It's just that easy. So you would have now created your Google Analytics 4. Because it's just a test version, it won't actually hook up because I haven't used the correct credentials. But this is just an example of how to add it to your Webflow website. But thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you like the tutorial, uh, feel free to subscribe and drop a like. If you've got any ideas of other tutorials you'd like me to cover, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.